What is going on everyone? Platinum B is coming at you with yet another video today. Today we're going to be talking about where spot price ended up for this week. We're going to discuss some different things and we're going to see where we started, where we ended, and who was right and who was wrong in the community post later on in the video. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I've got the Platinum spot price chart pulled up here today, and it looks like overall a decent week for Platinum, just taking a glance at it. We close the week at 1071.86, which is not too bad. We go to the one month chart and we see where we started out on Monday. And on Monday, October 11th, we started out at 1010, right on the dot. And we ended at 1071.86. So. That's a solid $60 up from where we started on Monday or the close on Monday. So Platinum is doing really well. I don't think there was a single moment throughout the week that we dipped below $1,000. So that's really good to see because it's been quite a while since we have seen that. So it's great for Platinum holders. It's not that great for Platinum stackers. If you didn't buy any during the dip, fortunately I did. And I have some coming in that you're not going to want to miss out on, so stay tuned on my channel. But as far as this week, this is the first week, and I don't even know how long we have seen the entire week go without dipping below $1,000. The last time we saw a week do that looks like about the beginning of September. So it's been a little over a month. It's been a little over a month and we did not see one single moment during this week that we did below $1,000. So that's interesting. Are we gonna stay above $1,000? I mean, it very well could be and it's looking like that's a possibility. We may have to wait and see how certain things unfold as far as the world leaders and the economics of everything going on, but that's not a bad sign, right? In that if we don't see below 1,000 again, I'm okay with that, but it does hurt a little bit on the accumulation side. Nevertheless, I'm still going to stack platinum. Right around a thousand bucks is still a bargain of a deal. So, if you were thinking about picking some up this weekend, to be honest, my advice maybe see where things go next week because spot price usually ebbs and flows, and it looks like it was really on a hard upward turn the past couple days. So what does that mean? That means we could see a very small dip next week. Maybe not below 1,000, but maybe closer to 1110, 1120. So that would be my advice on Platinum. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below because I didn't think that trend where we were seeing really just craziness where it would go up and down, up and down, ever end. But I mean, this kind of curve right here this curvature is very much different than these sharp turns we've been seeing. So Platinum is definitely on the rise and definitely ended up the week up. Will it end up next week up? I have no idea, but it did end up this week up. So hopefully some of you were able to get some earlier on in the week and things of that nature. Now let's take a look at gold. As far as gold is concerned, started out the week on October 11th at 1753.35 and this metal is also up almost 21 ish dollars so almost 21 dollars up on gold now it did go quite drastically down between thursday and friday it looks like we did reach a high of 1795.05 for the week however we did dip and that's substantially different from platinum where i mean it's down a hair from thursday but it's like a dollar but gold took took a little bit of a dive, not quite back to where it was on Monday, but it did take a little bit of a dive towards the end, which is interesting to see for sure. As far as the three month chart, we're still nowhere near those highs for gold. So gold is still down quite a bit from where it's been within just the past three months. So that's something to th consider and think about. And that's one thing I wanna kinda key in on on these charts is when you look at them, the one month chart I think is important, but I think the three month chart is important as well. 
because if we're not at a three month high, that probably means it's a decent time to buy and we could go back up to that three month high. I think three months is a good kind of time frame to gauge your purchases and to look at where it's been, where it's, and then where it could possibly go. So the same thing with platinum, we are still below where we were earlier on three months ago, but we're not that much far below. So we, well, we might just have to wait and see on platinum, but gold is definitely lower than it multiple times it's been in the past three months. We have seen over $1,800 multiple different times. So the fact that it's 1774, still a decent deal in my opinion. So if you're thinking about buying some gold this weekend, that wouldn't be a bad play at all. But as far as this week is concerned, gold is up, platinum is up. Let's take a look at silver. Let's start out on the one month chart. Let's go to Monday, October 11th. So it looks like we started out at 2257 and we ended the week at 2341. So that metal is up around 85 cents, which is pretty decent. Anything above or below 50 cents mark, I don't consider sideways. I consider it an actual movement, especially with silver because its price is already so low. It's a much higher percentage of the overall price when it's just plus or minus 50 or more cents. So with that being said, we will say silver is up. So all the metals are up so far, which is pretty good news for us stackers who have metals in our stack. We'd love to see lower prices for accumulation, but I digress. A lot of people think that silver is going to dip back down below 18 or $20 and float around $18 for a moment just for us to pick up and purchase. Could it happen? Maybe. Is it going to happen? I don't know. I'm not that into silver as much as I am platinum, so I just kind of buy it wherever it is, in a sense. I mean, if it goes sub 20 again, I'm definitely loading up the truck. But as far as for a while now, I've just been picking up little pieces here and there, just more so for fun than anything, because I've been focusing so much on my platinum stack. But silver did close the week up around 85 cents, which is pretty solid. So it's looking like all the medals are up for the week. So if you voted that, you might be the winner this week. Let's take a look at palladium. And for palladium, we're looking at palladium started out the week at 21.1450. Oh, and we are actually down around $7.22. Now that is something very interesting. I think we should pay very close attention to that because this has got to be the first week that palladium didn't move up or down with platinum. These two metals have moved independently this week, albeit a small amount, but nevertheless, we've these movements are very different. So could that mean that palladium is being substituted for platinum or vice versa? Well, I'm sure the markets will tell us sooner rather than later but if you were thinking about picking up platinum, I think that's kind of striking an opportunity bell right there. I already think it's inexpensive enough that it's a decent deal as it is, but we could see prices rise if palladium starts to fall. And we all know the reason that would actually occur. So with all that being said, gold, silver, platinum up, palladium is down. Now I'll give a little bit of leeway on palladium because not a lot of people stack it. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go over and take a look at the community poll and see what you all voted and see what you all had to say in the comments. So I've got the community poll post pulled up here and it looks like about 33% of you said all metals up. 32% of you said sideways all week and 24% of you said all metals down. Now that's interesting because that's almost an even split. The least amount said that all metals were down, but it's almost dead even, all metals up and all metals sideways. So, it looks like there were some different opinions and different views going into this week as far as where the spot price would end up. Now, 10% of you said platinum group metals up, which you were correct for platinum. However, palladium did end up down for the week. I am unsure of rhodium and the other metals, but nevertheless, 1% of you said mix comment below, and it looks like we got about 136 votes, which is not too bad of a turnout. I do appreciate everyone who voted in the poll, but getting into some of these comments, 
it looks like we've got Mr. Pistol Packing Pilot here. He says, debt ceiling raised equals metals down, despite any crazy commentary from my fishy friend. Hold on to your gills, fishy fish. Your $18 silver is coming. Well, unfortunately, Pistol Packing Pilot, you and myself included, were somewhat wrong about this week in that metals did not go down. Now, the debt ceiling... I guess it was put on hold, if I, if memory serves correct, it's been put on hold till December or something of that nature. I know they haven't minted the platinum coin they say they're going to mint, but uh, we may have yet to see the actual impact of the debt ceiling and all that craziness. So, I'm still holding out for hope. $18 silver would be amazing. And thank you, Pistol Pack and Pilot, for your funny comment. I'm sure Fishy Fish is down here in the comments somewhere. Gentleman's channel said, when silver goes down to 18, we will fry a fish for dinner every night. All right, pilot? Oh my gosh. That is too funny. That is too funny. Yeah, I mean, I'll. you know what? If it gets down to 18 bucks, I'm going to just go to McDonald's and, and buy a filet fish sandwich and just take a picture of it. And I will post it on my Instagram and YouTube. And I'll tag Fishy Fish. But we'll just have to wait and see. He might be right, right? And if he's right, I'm sure he's going to roast all of us for being wrong. But we'll just have to wait and see. Benny Benny said, Platinum going sky high like pumpkin pie. Well, it did go up and Palladium was down. So you might be on to something, Benny Benny. You might be on to something, my friend. And you were correct in your guess. D said, Everything but Platinum is down over the last 365 days. Yes, that, that much is true. Um, well, yeah, except for platinum. Well, yeah, yeah, you are correct, actually. Gold and silver were both higher probably about a year ago. So, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. I hadn't really thought about that. I'll have to do some, some real hardcore thinking about that. I might make a video talking about that discussion because that's pretty interesting point you make, D. So, thank you for that. Punchbowl Turd said, I still see nothing to cheer about if you're looking for higher prices. Yeah, I mean, it's not too much really going on and nothing really to cheer about, so to speak. We'll just have to wait and see, Punchbowl Turd. We will just have to wait and see, my friend. And it looks like someone replied, 100% agreed, said Gentleman's Channel. And here's Mr. Bionic Fishy Fish, debt ceiling raised equals metals up. In spite of my local commentary from my pilot friend, hold on to your throttle, Pistol Packer. My $25 silver is coming. All right, who is going to win between Bionic Fishy Fish and Pilot? $18 or $25? We need to have a WWS World Wide Silver or something. Or wrestling championship or what whatever. Silver championship. The world silver WSC, World Silver Championship. Who will be right and who will be left standing? Looks like we got three replies. Pistol Pack and Pilot said Bionic Fishy Fish. Buckle up, buttercup, or you're be lured into taking the bait before you should even nibble at it. Patience is a virtue, my friend. Bionic Fishy Fish said, There is a word for stackers. Stack, who is always waiting for the silver dip. Small size matters. <laughs> oh, I love the banter and I love the back and forth. But thank you to everyone who commented on this week's poll, as well as everyone who voted in the poll. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate all of my loyal viewers and followers and every one of you. Even if you just simply watch my videos, that just means a whole lot to me. And so thank you to everyone. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date. Future updates on my channel. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on where Precious Metals ended up for the week. With all that being said, until next time, we'll see y'all.